It's Saturday morning, and it's just after sunup right now. There's a long line congregating outside here at Goldsmith Seed Company. And today we have with us here Joel Goldsmith. And Joel, tell us about the event today. Well, we've just finished our annual flower show industry event, and every year we then uh, donate the, the plants to local Rotary Club and uh, we open the greenhouses to the public and, and have a plant sale. Tell, tell me about some of these plants here. Where are they from? Well, they're, uh, we, we produce the seed in, uh, in Guatemala and Holland. Uh, the research work is done here and in Holland. And uh, we are developing new varieties, new colors, new plant growth, new flower size, some disease resistance and what we're doing here is showing them off to our customers and the users of our products which are the professional plant growers primarily and showing them what we have new for the year and uh, that that's kind of what we're doing you got anything special for this year any different varieties well we have uh, a couple of new things we have a, a rubecchia a black-eyed susan uh, which is a new crop for us and then we still have a lot of excitement about a Vinca series that we introduced last year, which has uh, an extremely high level of disease resistance, and that's one of the big problems with Vinca. So that's, uh, that's been a big hit. Now, Vinca, isn't that one of the, the warm weather plants? Yeah, that, that, that likes it uh, very, very hot. Uh, it'll tolerate uh, our summers here extremely well. So you get the vinca for the sunlight, and you get the impatience for the shade. Is that right? Uh, absolutely. Impatience is still one of my favorite flowers because you, you put it in the ground, and if it needs water, it welts. You water it, it comes back. The bugs don't like it. Uh, it the diseases don't really like it. It's, it's really carefree and, uh, and just a, an easy, bright-colored plant to, to grow in your yard. Now, uh, is there a particular uh, color or variety that the birds and bees like the most? Uh, well, the, the, we've got some right over here, the cyclamen, the, the, the birds and the bees like. Um, but no, it's, uh, I don't know if we've got one more than others, the, the cochiana they like, the, anything with a fluted flower, uh, the hummingbirds in, in particular like. Anything special you have to do with these flowers? I mean, water them, don't water them? Or... Well, they're all going to need some water. Uh, my, my favorite thing to tell people, and they, they, they don't like to hear it, is in most cases when they get the flowers here, the, the best thing they can do is take the flowers off uh, because that'll create uh, more growth, more flower uh, production, and will actually look better in about two weeks, but uh, that's really hard to get people to do. So is that uh, called pinching? That's called pinching or, or deadheading, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, um, is there anything that, that uh, people have to do uh, special, like uh, is there a certain time of day that, that's best to plant or not plant? Well, you, you really don't want to want to be planting uh, in, in a really hot time of day. Uh, I mean, you can, it's, it's just going to require a lot of water and the plants are going to go through a, a little more shock, uh, which is the transition from, uh, you know, being in a nice controlled environment in the greenhouse to, to being out today. It's probably going to be in mid 80s to, to maybe even 90 today. So it's, uh, they're going to require a little bit of a transition period there. What's your favorite time to plant, uh, morning or evening? Um, I, I end up doing more in the in the evenings because I'll take plants home that we're giving away out here uh, when we're when we're through with them. And so I do more in the evening. How many people do you expect to uh, come here to this event? Uh, excellent question. I I really don't know what the what the people count is. I would I would expect uh, 
close to a thousand people today. Wow, I saw a number of them uh, bringing uh, uh, small wagons and large wagons in here. Uh, I guess some of the plants uh, toward the back are rather large. Well, yeah, we've got some containers uh, and, and the people with the wagons and the carts are the experienced shoppers here. Uh, I saw one guy uh, get out of his truck and, and uh, set up his lawn chair in the, in the waiting line so you know he's been here before. Personal favorites that you have? Well, uh, we talked about impatience earlier. That's probably my favorite. Zinnia is my, my new favorite because I live in an area where there's deer. Uh, and the deer don't seem to eat the zinnias, so uh, that, that's always a favorite uh, for me. Well, thank you, Joel.